hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good and those who are new to my channel let quick intro about me this is sandeep gar a working professional as an analyst in a top product based company so in today's video i'm came back with a very interesting simple interview question so here's the problem statement so let me show you so these are the input given we have a two columns item name and count so let's say apple have a three count so how the expected output should be so expected output should be like if item have a three count it should be exploded three times in the same column in expected uh, in the final output so let's say if orange have a six count it it should be exploded six time in the same column so now, now let's jump to the id to solve this problem so for for the sample data i already inserted in my temporary table ungroup so i have defined a one table ungroup with the two columns and inserted this data which is given uh, which i showed you in excel on this is the data expected i have extracted from the table so now let's see how we can solve it so here i am going to use a recursive method first of all before checking my solution please try by on and mention your solution in a comment section so i hope you able to solve it if not let's see how we can do that so let me first uh, give a disclaimer about the recursive recursive syntax could vary database to database so let's see ki in some in some database recursive method uh, recursive syntax uh, recursive word is not required to define but i am using a redshift database in redshift database it's required so we uh, so i'm defining first recursive ct so with recursive let's define ct only and in bracket we have to define the column names also so the column names we are going to use over here item name so this is also in some databases is not required item name and item count okay now in recursive sorry. so in recursive city we have to define first our main query select so we have two columns these two columns from ungroup table so these are the this is my main query after that i have to use union all and i have to call my recursive ct in this second second iteration so how i can do that like sex star i'm just uh, first of all i'm just uh, showing you how recursive call i can do from ct so this will work as a while loop and i have to end my loop with a condition okay so here i have to give my condition so now this is the here only we have to define a trick so with this recursive method this is only a two line or three liner code uh, like just with just with this in cd we can uh, solve this problem but how we can do that let's say item name should be uh, there only now i have to reduce the count every times so item let me show you how it will work first of all item count minus 1 so i'm reducing every time with a 1 1 count so it will be like 3 in the next iteration it's 2 next next iteration it's 1 so now here in condition i have to define where i have to end so item count should be greater than 1 so here you must be wondering why greater than 1 let I'll, i'll explain you let me first show you the out Select star from and uh, the CT. Okay, let me run it. Can you see? Let me extend my output window. Now, can you see the output? I've successfully up exploded it uh, Apple three times. So. Uh, three times so in the table i have banana is 10 times count so explore it 10 times successfully orange is six times so it's like six time so how it is working so why we have defined is greater than 1 not greater than 0 so here it is in the first iteration is three only so count for like i am taking example for apple is equal to 3 so in the first iteration it's 3 okay so in the in the next when it will call a recursive call it will pick the item from first iteration from the main table so 3 so here the item count is 3 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 okay now it will run again 
and we'll call the this uh, item count from the uh, this second iteration in the second iteration item count is now 2 so now when it call, comes to the recursive call 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so here why we define item is greater than is equal to 1 as a condition because if we define item greater than is equal to 0 so it will again call a, this one count from the third iteration and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 it will give a 4 output which we don't want because count is 3 so it should be exploded 3 times only so that's why we define greater than 1 because if it is greater than 1 it will call from a second iteration only so two, uh, item count 2 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so we have we have got the three iterations so that is only required so that's why it's greater than 1 okay so this this is the condition only we have to use smartly uh, uh, or like we have to define uh, in a correct way to get the expected output okay i hope you understand this uh, the lo this logic so now we just need the item name column as the uh, as the interview want so let me run it and it will show me the expected output let me run it and it will show me the expected output yeah you can see we can use the order by but right now i'm not doing i'm just doing manually you can see apple three times banana ten times or an orange six times which is defined on in the table okay like count if you like this video please hit the like button because once you hit the like button it motivates me to create more content like this so till then bye bye we will meet in the next video